Now we know that how to execute the JavaScript code using node command. We just open the terminal and just say node and specify index.js. Now this command is going to execute the JavaScript code which we have in this index.js. But what if this file is not in this tutorial folder? We have this file somewhere else. In that case, you need to specify the absolute path of this file in the node command. And at the same time, what if you want to specify the watch flag with this node command? For example, if I see here watch, then you can notice this is a big command. Whenever you open a new terminal, you need to write this command to execute your JavaScript code. To solve this problem, we have npm script. I'm going to get rid of this statement right from here and close this terminal. And I'm going to just open my package.json file. And in this file, you can notice we have this script section. In this script section, you can specify what command you want to execute using terminal. By default, when you create a package.json file, you will get the test command with it. I'm going to create a new command. So here I'm going to specify comma. So in the double code, I'm going to say execute and then specify colon here. And in the double code, I want to specify which command I want to execute in the terminal. So here I want to execute node and execute the index.js. I want to execute the index.js file using node command. So I'm going to just specify that in this double code, save this file and in the index.js here I'm going to just specify console.log and just specify npm scripts. Save the changes, open the terminal instead of executing node index.js command. Here I'm going to say npm run and then specify my command which I want to execute in the terminal. I want to execute this execute command. So here I'm going to say execute. When I press enter, you can notice I'm going to have the result npm script. So the npm run command is allows us to execute command line task. You're not limited to only create one command inside this script. You can create multiple commands as well. So for example, if I want to create another command, I'm going to specify here comma and then specify my second command here. I'm going to specify name for this command, watch, and then specify command here inside this double code. Here I'm going to say node index.js. When we work on big node project, we have different commands inside this script. I'm going to save this file. I want to execute this watch command. So here I'm going to say npm run watch. When I press enter, this command is going to execute this file. You can use the built-in commands as well. I'm going to just specify here comma and create a new command here. So here I'm going to specify double code and here you can notice you have different commands. I'm going to choose this start command and just click on it. If you want to execute this command, you just need to type npm start. I'm going to use this start command. So I'm going to select it and here in this double code, I'm going to say node index.js. Now, if I want to execute this command, I just need to specify here npm start. That's it. When I press enter, oops, I think I forgot to save the changes. Save this file. Let me just execute npm start. When I press enter, you can notice I'm going to have the result what I want. So this is how you can execute different commands in Node. Next, we'll take a look at the type of npm packages. Now, when you install package using npm command, there are two types of packages you can find in Node. Local packages and global packages. By default, when you type npm install, this command is going to use the local package. We use npm install lodash to install this package in the node project. This package is installed in the node modules folder. The package is installed in the current file tree under the node modules folder. As this happens, npm also add a lodash entry in dependencies property. You can notice here in the package.json you have this entry of the lodash package. So you can find this package in this dependency section. A global installation is performed using hyphen g flag. If you want to install a package globally, you can use hyphen g flag with the package name. Let's say you want to install this package globally. You don't want to install this package only for this project, which you can use everywhere in every application. You can use the hyphen g flag for that. So here I'm going to just specify hyphen g just like this. When you use this flag, this package is going to install in your system globally, which you can use everywhere in every node application. When this happens, npm won't install the package under the local folder, but instead it will use the global location. 
the npm root hyphen g command will tell you where that exact location is on your machine. When I press enter, you can find the location of this package installed in your machine. Now, once you understand how to install package locally and globally, let me show you how to uninstall it. So, to uninstall this package, I'm going to use npm uninstall and then specify the package name which I want to uninstall from this project. I'm going to say here low dash. Let me first open the package.json and now let me execute this command. When I press enter, you can notice this package is now uninstalled from my project. You can notice in my dependency section, I don't have this package. The package entry is now removed from this dependency section as well. Next, we'll talk about what is NPX. 